everyone, welcome back to a brand new series. I've done a video about this before, but I am doing the cultural representative program in Walt Disney World, starting like my first day. I'm moving into Flamingo Crossings in literally a couple of days' time. I am at home right now, getting ready and packing, and then I am flying out. Uh, well, I'll be in the air in literally 48 hours' time. Um, so it's crazy to think how quickly this has crept up on me. But join me now as we move to Flamingo Crossings and start my new adventure uh, doing the cultural representative program in Epcot. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming videos about the program. I've got so much to bring you over the next year. It is going to be so, so exciting. A few moments later. Good morning everyone from London Gatwick Premier Inn. It is the next day and today is the day. We are flying, we are moving. Um, yes, it still doesn't feel like I'm actually about to do this, but I am. Um, but we are about to go and get breakfast soon, in about 15 minutes time. We're going to get breakfast. Uh, and then soon after that we will head over to the terminal check our bags in, get my boarding pass. Um, again, we're flying Norse uh, Premium Economy over to Orlando, Terminal C, which is the brand new terminal at Orlando. I have flown into the new terminal and it was absolutely amazing. Um, so hopefully it'll be the same again this time. Uh, and then we are checking in to Disney's Old Key West Resort later on uh, this evening. Uh, it's going to be a long day, but we're going to be checking in there this evening. And yes, so let's get on with our travel day. So I've made it to the north terminal, and then now we're just getting the little shuttle monorail thing over to the south terminal, as that's where I need to check in. Uh, but my premier in was literally just a five minute walk from here, and then you just catch a shuttle over, so nice and easy. I mean, I did turn up at the airport like three and a half hours early, but the there was absolutely no check-in line and uh, got straight through checked in three and a half hours early done and now it's time to head up to departures but overall so far Norse again it's my second time flying with them absolutely amazing so far so we passed through security in like five ten minutes we went straight through super quick the airport is really really quiet this morning for some reason so I now have like a three and a half hour wait until my flight uh, which will be interesting, so I might stay here, make some phone calls to some family and then maybe look around some shops, um, so yeah, but not long, well, not long, just three hours, so. So we have come to our gate at Gatwick, we are on Redwood, um, we're just waiting to board now, we're just at the gate, ready to go. So I am all boarded on this, like, the seat is huge and the leg room is massive um, and I'm right up at seat 4A so right up at the front um, we've got like water included and then I've got like pillows and blankets too so so far so good here on Norse Premium so far the cabin seems really quiet there's barely anyone in the premium section so far so hopefully I've got this seat to myself um, but this is lift I have no idea how that works, but in here you've got your table and your screen, uh -huh. like that, <laughs> so you've got the screen there, with a USB and of course your uh, outlet socket for your headphones, and then also your tray table will be in here too, I assume that's on this side, and that somehow just lifts up like that and yeah so very nice it's very nice but my seat isn't even reclined and it feels like I'm reclined but it's not I've double checked it's not but um, if we look around here too I also have like a footrest like that too um, so yeah very nice and the lovely cabin crew on board my flight have already come across with, uh, come around with pre-departure beverages. So just started with a nice orange juice. Um, worth to mention, don't know if I did or not. Um, you get pillows and a blanket included in premium. 
um, whereas in normal economy uh, you have to pay extra for those. Just another look around the seat, I've got, literally got two full windows to myself and these are the windows that um, they don't have a blind, they uh, automatically tint like that. So you can probably see slowly it's starting to go tinted like that. And then, but literally my short legs like are fully stretched out and they're not even reaching the seat in front. So honestly, the leg room is amazing. Also looking on this screen, you can actually get like complimentary earplugs, eye mask and earphones for free in premium economy. Um, but of course, I think you have to order them, just saves wasting ones that are just being put out and not used. So it's a good idea. It's also quite a good selection of films available, Barbie, Batman, so lots of big, lots of big ones, some of them quite old, um, but I recently flew British Airways and a lot of them are the same as that is on British Airways at the minute. Still a lot of Christmas films, even though we are halfway through January, um, but definitely a huge selection of films available for your flight. So the food has just come out. I got the chicken with mashed potatoes and vegetables with a salad and it looks like some sort of like uh, chocolate tart or something like that. And a nice bread roll with it too. You also get a, another drink uh, with it too. And the vegetarian option was tomato and gnocchi. Uh, so also a good alternative there for vegetarians or if you don't like chicken. So a hot drinks uh, service isn't part of the actual flight, but you can actually go on the screen and order one uh, and literally as soon as like, and it was free, and literally two minutes after ordering it, uh, my coffee came out. So very good service, I uh, must, uh, yeah, very good service. So we're just about an hour away from landing, it's just starting to get dark outside and our sort of dinner, I don't know what you call it, pre-landing food has arrived. We've got some yoghurt, strawberry yoghurt, a brownie, another bread roll and then I think that's some quiche and like couscous salad so it looks really really good. So we have arrived and we are at the beautiful new Terminal C and now we're just going to wait for our bags and then we're going to get the Miz Connect over to Old Key West where we're staying tonight. So I'm all now at Old Key West. We had, uh, I went straight to, literally went straight to bed uh, when I got in and then I've woken up now and I'm getting ready to move over to Flamingo Crossings but that is going to be in the next video. So literally I'm going to start the next video as soon as I finish this one. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, there's plenty more CRP videos to come. I'm checking into Flamingo in like an hour and a half. I don't quite believe it. Um, so thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.